to Ghana, where Ghana's economic recovery is gaining momentum as business restrictions are further lifted by the authorities. The coronavirus pandemic largely affected businesses in the country, but the central bank had designed a mechanism for business to acquire an affordable credit. However, some economists say the lending rate, which is over 14%, could have been reduced to about 10% amid the impact of the COVID-19. Well, let's have more details of that in this report. Ghana's economy is on the path to recovery. As lockdown restrictions are further lifted, businesses are trying to bounce back. This is the third time in a row the central bank has held the interest rate at 14.5% since the COVID-19 outbreak started. It's designed to help businesses access affordable credit, but some economists were hoping for a rate cut. The projections show that inflation is likely to moderate. So if inflation is to moderate, then one would expect the interest rate also to come down a little bit to reflect that um, projections. And again, the actual inflation has also reduced from 11 to 10.5 percent. Um, that also gives an indication that uh, inflation in terms of prices, general prices, are quite better. So coupled with that, we would expect um, the central bank to have reduced it at least by 50 or 100 basis points. The country's GDP dropped by 3.2 percent in the second quarter on an annual basis due to COVID-19 lockdown restrictions. This year's election could pose a further risk to the government's budget plans that were already disrupted by the pandemic. Governments in Ghana historically spend more during election years in an attempt to win votes. The Bank of Ghana says the target of limiting the fiscal deficit at 5% of GDP will not be hit. The government has revised its 6.9% projected GDP growth for this year to 0.9%. But the central bank predicts the economy to grow more than that, forecasting between 2 to 2.5 percent. Based on what the central bank is telling us and um, some discoveries in terms of oil discoveries, coupled with confidence in the economy based on the outcome of the election, um, we are likely to recover much quickly than expected. And one would I expect Ghana to do somewhere within 3 to 5 percent going into next year. Despite the positive outlook for Ghana's economy, the central bank says it is unclear whether the lending rate will be reduced or increased before the year ends. This is due to uncertainty of government spending as it tries to further limit the shocks caused by the pandemic.